All right, <clears throat> my house is right there. Just walked out the back door, headed down this trail about 250 yards in this direction. It's a creek behind my house. All I got today is sinkers, hooks, a fishing pole, small shovel, and my worm bucket. I'm gonna show y'all how how I find worms down here in this holler. Just going on a little nature hike, getting out the house. Go down here and Try to get some worms and do a little fishing. <clears throat> Hopefully I don't get caught up by the rain. Supposed to rain is the front coming through. The fish ought to be biting. So I am ready to catch a fish. I think this is awesome. Like this is my favorite thing to do. Just go hiking through the woods. Exploring, fishing on the creek. All right, I don't know if y'all can tell, but all this is pig rooting down here in the bottom of this holler in this dirt. And normally, when you see that. The pigs are in there eating worms. They're digging up these worms in this dirt, in these hollers, in this in this mud, and the old hog wallers. That's pretty fresh there. But they're in here eating these worms. So I'm about to dig up a few worms and maybe about 30 or so and head down to the creek. First turn. Just turn that dirt over. I already got one. Get about 30 of those and head down to the creek. Alright. Dug around for a few minutes. I got quite a quite a few. I think it's a lot more than 30. But uh might go down here and do some fishing. It's already starting to rain. I don't know how much fish I'm gonna get done. I'm about to go give it a go. Finally, and here I am. We're right down here to that spot. Put one of these worms in, in the water. Thing is with worms, you don't know if you're gonna catch a catfish, a bass, perch. Little beavers got me a little trail coming down here. <clears throat> All right. He's gonna ball up on the hook. I only hook him like one time, once or twice. Right in the right in the egg sack and got it on drop shot again today. Drop shot's my favorite rig. So right down there. See what happens. Boom. Oh, missed him. Got a bite already. I seen he's a little bass. Yep. I seen a bass down there with him. Kind of expected this. And he swallowed it. Big bass probably eat him. Worm 
come back on. Get back down. Good trot line, beat. Just some little guys. Little sun bellies. Find a different spot. Can't keep catching these little bitty ones. I at least want to catch a catfish or a bass. Come on. Got my hung up. There's a little better one. A little male. Bright colors. Oh, no, I'm hung up. Come on, man. How am I hung up? He's still on it down there. Shoot. Can't get over here to it. Wrap around his little twig. Ah. Shoot. Oh, he's got me wrapped up in there too. I don't know how I'm gonna get that. Guess I have to go around. I still see him, he's still on it. He's down there in them roots. Crap. Man, that's some thick stuff. A little bass. That's that little bass I seen a few seconds ago. All I gotta do is catch a catfish and I think that'd be the majority of the fish you can catch with it. With a worm. Alright, let's try to see if I can make it down here. Kind of hard to get to. All right, finally got down here. They come around. Got a little nice little creek bend right here. Nice deep hole. Log pile over there. Come on, be still. Nice little channel cat. And bring the stringer. It'd be great for a little pan fry. They going back today. I'm going that worm. <clears throat> All right. Get me tangled up. And get everything wrapped up. A 
Ooh, catfish. All right, I don't know if y'all see this root bundle, but this long comes straight out here. I'm throwing on the other side and it's blowing back under that log. Right out there, and the current's taking it. It's going right back toward that low. That's where them catfish are. I tried this side, and didn't get no bites. I kept getting hung up, so I started doing this, and it's working out so far. That's number two. Little guy. He hit it and I foul hooked him. Do another worm on. A bass, sun belly. That's the bluegill, catfish, everything eats a worm. Oh, biggest. Oh, man. Oh, shit. Eight pound test, and I got him. That's a decent sized catfish here for a creek. Nice little channel cat on them worms. The other day I was fishing here, I was using a crawfish. Caught a couple bass out of this hole. There's a couple logs down there, and a little catfish come out from under it. under all this bushes and stuff dang bugs about to tote me off it's one thing I forgot sun um not sunscreen mosquito spray Okay. All right, this is a little creek. It runs into the main creek right there. There's a little deep hole right here. I'm gonna do some micro fishing with these worms. Thing in there. Boom. Little sun belly. Oh, 
just a couple of worms. Holly, come on. Let's deal with these worms. Oh my goodness, look at that little. That's what I call micro fishing. Little bee thing. Little boogie. To this other itty. That stuff is freezing. Fish. Oh, that is a little bass. Nope, creek chub. Little creek chub. Alright, that's it for today. It got dark on me. Uh, I'm just showing y'all how I find them worms and them hog rootings. Go out there on the creek and catch a few fish. Didn't do too good, but I only had a couple of hours. And all the deep holes done filled in this year. The fishing ain't too good on the creek. But uh, thank y'all for watching. Please like and subscribe. See y'all in the next one.